Well, here we are, on a Friday, on a boat called Friday. It's stunning, Moreton Bay Island Resort. My name's Jeff Strang, I'm the editor of Trader Boat Magazine. We're on a Fleming 55, which is a pilot house style boat. It's, it's gorgeously presented. I can't wait to take it for a spin, which we're gonna do shortly. Stick with us. Fleming 55 has an open flybridge. It's perfectly suited to the Australian lifestyle, as you can see. She's driven by twin Cummins QSC 8.3 500 horsepower engines. There's a bow thruster and a stern thruster. Twin electronic controls, of course. Smartcraft monitoring system on both engines. And a Raymarine E140W widescreen here. There's actually two more in the pilot house. Yeah, lovely, nice big wheel, comfortable open, great visibility, just just a beautiful place to be cruising around on a, on a vessel like this. Friday's owner, Jim, is a keen fisherman. He's had the Quintrex 350 Explorer put on the bridge for further excursions targeting Barramundi and, and whatnot. He's got the 1200 pound brow systems davit to put her in the water. One of the features on the bridge that I really like is this solid, beautifully engineered sliding hatch. It allows access to the flybridge from the cockpit, the stairwell access from the cockpit, stairwell access from the pilot house. Nicely set up. This is the pilot house of the Fleming 55. It's a, it's a great place to be driving the boat from, you know, when the weather's not quite so pleasant. Uh, again, the twin Raymarine E140W widescreen navigation systems. It's got all the fruit here, the Smartcraft stuff from upstairs is repeated. If we look down here, we've got an ABT track uh, digital stabiliser. It's part of the secret of the ride of this boat for sure. Right over here we have a burning monitoring system, electronic monitoring system that's just, that's just looking after everything that we need to know about, um, fuel levels, etc, etc. But what I really like about this space is that it's a dedicated pilot house. You close the door and you're driving the boat in all conditions, families down the back having dinner, doing whatever, there's no interference, there are no distractions. From a seafarer's point of view, this is a proper wheelhouse. Here's the main switch panel, it's in the pilot house. What's more impressive, we open this up, have a look at the quality of that wiring, you know, fully pr protected behind perspex. You're not going to get a shot, but quite cavernous away in here and yet more wiring looms, beautifully presented. Uh, look, marine engineer, marine electrician is just going to love seeing that stuff. There go. Welcome to Friday's master cabin. As you can see, beautifully finished in timber. Timber hatches, slide back, screened, see the world outside, absolutely beautiful. But there's a few features here that, that really set this master cabin apart for me. One is, it's always tricky to tuck a bed in on a boat, and you're trying to get up around the front, you just can't get it beautiful. So what they've done is they've made it so that it can slide out, if I can just do that. There we go. So you can tuck in around the front, push that back in. Hydraulic bed lift, fantastic. Look at the space in there, and no effort, beautiful. It would be remiss of me not to mention that the Fleming 55 is built to CE Category A standards. It comes with a lot of safety features to meet that. One of them that's quite exceptional is this. Escape hatch, you've got to love that. I don't think I've ever seen one on a boat before. Fabulous. It's certainly been a beautiful afternoon here on the boat called Friday, the Fleming 55. I've certainly enjoyed it. 
I'd like to introduce you to Sam Nicholas from Fleming Yachts Australia. Sam, you've been great. You've shown some features that uh, that have really impressed me. The, the dedicated pilot house. I love the escape hatch. Look, I could go on forever, and I probably will. But Sam, what sets the Fleming yacht, the Fleming 55, apart for you? Uh, it would have to be. I mean, the, it, it's the benchmark of pilot house cruises to me. 26 years, same mould, dedication going into the engineering of this boat. And no. No. The finish is fabulous, that's for sure. And Sam, it's been, a, it's been a pleasure coming through this boat with you. I, I, I hope Trader Boat gets an invite again in the future. Look, I've really enjoyed my afternoon on the Fleming 55, this boat called Friday. Perfect day for a boat called Friday. It's got a lovely unhurried feel. It's brilliantly finished. It's uh, just that there's quality everywhere you look. It's got more features than I can cover. As I said, I love the pilot house. Yeah, I think I think the Fleming 55 is really worth a close look. If if this is your sort of thing, if this is the lifestyle you're looking for, family orientation, um, a real boat. It, it's like I say, it cruises beautifully and comfortably, and there's just loads of space. I think you should have a look at FlemingYachts.com. Have a chat to Sam Nicholas from Fleming Yachts Australia. I think you'll make it worth your time. Great boat. If she looks like a ship, it's because she is. Listen to this. <laughs>